Hi everyone, welcome to course 5A on the QAP test correlation, which is an acronym for Credit Assignment Procedure. This is basically a technique to make some correlation tests on network data. In this course, we will see why, it's, uh, why the statistics on, net on networks is, is different from the classical statistics on population, and how the QAP test works, and how we can use it for QAP regression or QAP correlation. First, statistics on networks and statistics on population differs because networks is about relation between nodes and not between variables of these nodes, whereas classical statistics are about relation between the variables uh, on the population. So instead of considering uh, distribution of variables, as in classical statistics, here we will consider distribution of links, so at the scale of the whole network, but without taking into account the relation between the variables of the nodes, for now. In classical statistics about on population, to make a correlation, you have to, to suppose, suppose that your observations are independent. In fact, doing a correlation test implies that you make the hypothesis that your data are IID, which means independent and identically distributed. You cannot have that in a network, because in a network everything is related, because of the network effect that, take, uh, that make the node in relation with every other node. And also, you already know that there is some local processes between nodes, for example, homophily or transitivity, triadic closure, and so on, that uh, will um, guarantee that you have not independence of observation in the links of a network. So, basically, the network's effects is uh, that, uh, as opposed to classical statistics where a population are described by some variables, here a network is, de is described by links between nodes. So, in population, you can suppose that if your sample is sufficiently large and that you take observation at random, you have independence of observation, but in networks, for example, when you have three nodes A, B, C, you cannot suppose that the link between A, B is independent uh, of the link between A, C, because A is both in relation with B and C. And in a connected component, uh, basically every node is related to the other. So in classical statistics, you look at some variable and how it is related to some other in the population and you make some regression to find linear combination and so on. And basically, QAP will allow us to do the same thing, to look for relationship between links of some networks. And you, you, and you, or you can also make some regression with QAP regression. A uh, few words on uh, network statistics. So when you've got only one graph, the only statistics you can do is about the distribution of links. So you can take the mean of uh, the adjacency matrix. You will have the density of links, which is a kind of mean um, of the adjacency matrix. When you've got uh, weighted networks, you take the valued matrix and you've got the average weight of the links. You can also compute variance and standard deviation of your links and so on. But what uh, interests us, uh, what we are interested in, is network statistics between two graphs. So let's say that we have a graph G and G prime with the same node set. We can wonder what are the properties of the relationship between the two distributions of links of these two graphs. So basically, uh, correlation uh, will help us to determine if there is a relationship between the links of G and the links of G prime. In case of positive relation, a uh, correlation. A link AB between the node A and B of G, uh, the presence of this link will increase the likelihood of seeing the same link between uh, A and B in G prime. Uh, a negative correlation uh, will imply that the, the links may be complementary, so the presence of, of links AB in G um, implies that the uh, link between A and B is uh, absent of the network G prime, and in case of no correlation, the links will be independent. So basically that's it about uh, the correlation test and networks and statistics. So we will try to make some correlation, but because of the reason there is no independence of relation, we will have to use the QAP test to make uh, as if we got uh, independent observation. This is the end of the part one. Uh, let's see how QAP works in part two.